What is happening? Let's go pop on here for a quick live stream, guys. Um, this one, I'm going to try to keep it pretty short. I don't have a whole lot of time, um, but there's a couple things I want to show you guys. I hope everybody's doing good there. Um, also, before I get into it, um, I have made a few of you guys uh, mods. I haven't had a chance to do uh, the last couple I received. Um, Trinity, Trinity, uh, <laughs> red, red or blue pill, hi ho, Kermit the Frog. We call her Trinity. <laughs> she is. Uh, she's going. She's a mod now too. And a couple of you other guys that have uh, uh, sent me some emails. Um, but yeah, um, you guys will be too. Also, I just haven't had a chance to get over there and do that yet. Um, but obviously, it's early in the morning. Five. I actually haven't even been to bed yet. So, <laughs> um, can everybody hear me? Just give me a thumbs up if you can. I'm pretty sure you probably can. I hope anyway. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so we're just going to kind of jump into it. Um, well, I'll say hi to you guys here first. Uh, Dave, Knowledge2020, Jennifer B, uh, Jennifer E, EH14, um, Arizona Raven, Donna Brown, how you guys all doing? JoJo, um, Times of the Signs, Miss EM, yeah, you guys. Uh, thanks for being here, guys. Um, hope everybody's having uh, going to have a good start to the week. I know that this is... Uh, Probably not everybody's, uh, hey Della, um, favorite, uh, day of the week, but, you know, what's the alternative, <laughs> right? Um, but yeah. What's between Venus and Earth? Uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> space? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Um, are you talking about the objects we've seen over there on HI2? Um, that's still up for grabs what that actually is. Um, I'm not really 100% sure on that, what, what's actually going on there yet, um, what I can say is we don't know its exact location because we don't know the depth, how far away from the um, satellite it was. So, um, you know, I, get, I think I gave a quick update on that a while, uh, a couple days ago. Um, and again, I'll, I'll touch on that again probably uh, at, in my next video. And guys, yes, I will be returning to doing some of my uh, edited videos. Um, you know, I'm still going to do the live streams probably a couple times a week. Um, but I'm going to go back to doing that because people, um, they don't have, you know, an hour and a half to sit here and, and talk to me. Most people don't. And I, and I understand it. They're not going to want to fish through a live stream just to try to get information. You know what I mean? I get it. I really do. Um, so, you know, but I still want to have that communication with you guys. So it is what it is. Thank you, Anthony. Good to see you. Anthony Wynn. Uh, okay. So we will just, uh get into it because there's a couple of interesting things here guys that uh i think you guys might uh enjoy seeing here so we're going to start with the schumann like we always do um i guess i could pull the the chat box up here too there we go this as we're doing this um i, ha I i'm going to be able to put that chat on the top here in front of all the windows and i'll, I'll keep it up on the side here um, there's there's a little uh, it's called Turbo Top. You can uh, download that and you can it's free and it'll put whatever <clears throat> whatever window um, you want on top. That way I'll be able to keep the chat here. You can also do it through OBS, but you know I'm just gonna do it that way I guess. Um, anyway, the Schumann here, guys, it is uh, it's kind of a, a little wonky, I guess is what I'll call it. Um, again, we're getting a typical short little burst, but look at that. Um, I am going to uh, zoom in here a little bit. Right in here. Okay. If you get, I'm sure you guys can see that. I hope you can. I actually uh, made my mouse and everything quite a bit bigger so everybody can see what I'm pointing at. Um, <clears throat> on, when I was recording on my phone, I actually have a draw tool. It's out there all the time. You, I use it all the time. You guys see me do it. That's something I don't have here. Um, I can I can pull up like a draw tool if I want to, but it's actually kind of uh, um, kind of hard to navigate with a little bit. So anyway, we got this weird signature right here, and we got this stuff up here too. A lot of horizontal stuff going on here. Um, I think Verte kind of touched on that uh, a couple a couple of his videos back. Um, I'm not exactly sure what what causes that. 
Um, typically, when we see stuff spiking on this graph here, it is vertical, okay? Um, but So what we're seeing here is not what we would expect actually to see on a normal basis. Um, that, you know, right here where this line is, that's the 783 hertz, 7.83. That's our normal, uh, or baseline is what I call it, um, frequency. And it's probably still not the right term to use there, but that's what I'm going to call it. And, but this here isn't actually just a complete straight line, okay? So that's what makes me think it's not um, something that is uh, something that's not natural. Now, if you guys look at this, you can see where it's 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 kind of up and down, up and down, all the way down through here. Um, usually, if it, if I, if it's something unnatural, it'll be it'll have a hard line up here. See this right here? See that big hard line? Um, but this here is kind of it's varying a little bit, okay? Not not a bunch, but it is doing it through the whole signature, and it lasted for 21 to so we got three, say roughly about 10 hours, okay? Um, I guess yeah, it'd be about 10 hours. So yeah, nine to 10. That's pretty long lasting for a for a signature to show up like that. And that you know that when we see the whites, that's that's the most intense that we see it. So um, you know. I don't really know what to make of that, but if you guys are feeling kind of crazy during these <laughs> hours or whatever, um, this most definitely could be part of what's going on. Uh, again, don't ignore your body to the point where you don't go to the doctor, okay? If, you, if you're sick and you're not feeling right and it lasts for a long time or even for if it's, if it's acute, don't wait, you know, guys? Um, this is just something that we look at as a tool and it, it is important to look at, and it does explain a lot, but don't ignore your body because you don't want to, you know, cause damage that don't need to be happening. Um, you know, that's what I always try to tell everybody. Just be, you know, be sensitive to what you're seeing and how you're feeling, and trust your gut, okay? If you think you need to go to the doctor, go to the doctor. Uh, and that's exactly what I tell everybody. So, um, there's that. Um, space weather, okay, this is where we're going to kind of get into it a little bit, um, a little bit more here, uh, but yeah, I hope you guys kind of, uh, fishing in there, Avery, are you in there? Alright, um, so, I'm not sure if there's any mods in there right now, it doesn't look like it, so if that's, uh, if you guys start seeing stuff in there, people start getting rude or whatever, just, just holler at me, you know, hey, 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 we got trolls, whatever. And we'll, we'll take care of it. Um, but anyway. Okay. So we got the solar x-ray flux right here, guys. Um, obviously, it's it's been hanging kind of low. Well, you see this right here? Let's zoom in a little bit more. Right there. That's a little flare. Okay. It, I'm, I'm not even sure it made it into B class. Okay, it wasn't strong, but I seen it, and we can see it. Now, look what's happening with our geomagnetic activity. Um, what's going on here is we have, we're, we're entering a, um, a solar wind stream from a coronal hole. This was expected, okay? And it actually showed up about the time we thought it would, um, right about the turn of the day on the 14th. So, um, the, the stuff we're seeing on our magnetosphere right now is explainable by that coronal hole. Um, so we'll look at the sun here real quick. And again, you see this big, that, that's a pretty decent sized coronal hole. Now remember, right through here, equator, Earth is kind of here. So this isn't what we're seeing right now, okay? This stuff here won't get here until, you know, four or five days from now. Um, the coronal hole that, that we're uh, getting wind from right now is actually probably already rotated off. It was kind of down here. And I think it went ahead and rotated on off. But we are seeing more coronal holes now. The northern one, the northern coronal hole, it's always there. Seems to be opening up a little bit bigger right now, too. Um, the southern one, you know, that, that's kind of, that's usually what, what it kind of looks like, okay? Um, depending on what, you know, what day it is. It changes, it fluctuates. And we're going to take a look at the sun here in a minute anyway because of this and this up here. Um, this is the one I think that flared. This one might have too. Um, we're going to take a look at it, but, um, it wasn't a big flare, but it did, it did flare. So, 
Um, there's the last go C2. Now, this right here, this is going to show you guys exactly what I was saying with the solar wind. Okay? You got the density here. Okay? Then you got your typical blackout times for the satellite where it can't, you know, transmit data. You see this big uptick? Wham! See how fast that came up? Well, you know, we've seen it. And we've seen it pretty quick, like, on our tools. Okay? Um, and the density kind of went up at the same time, too. And, and like I said before, guys, when we get that, that means we are, you know, this, there's the temperature. You see how they're all mimicking each other? Except for the density. Okay? Why did this not, why did the density not go up like the, the solar wind speed? Well, once it had its initial hit here, that solar wind speed is moving, and it actually probably flushed out some of the dense, dense particles. And that's why a lot of times we see the density go the opposite direction of the solar wind, of the speed itself. Okay? You can see how it kind of went up for a second, and then it started diving back down. The other tool, oops, the other, um, the other uh, signatures here, the velocity and the temperature, both are spiking up. This is the only one that's not. And there, there's a reason for it. Uh, and I just explained that to you. Um, so that, that's what's happening with that. Now, you guys can see this right here. I'm going to play this uh, spiral graph here, this, this model. And what you can see, guys, it's, it's going to be active. Okay? Um, if we're not having high, high velocity, we're, we're having a little bit higher density. Um, so, and why? Well, we do have those sunspots. We do have, um, the sun has ejected a few times. Um, none of them have been right at us. Um, a lot of it is off to the side. And I'll show you a couple of them here in a few minutes. But, um, it's always good to look at these other ones too. This, this blue line is stereo B. That's the conditions at stereo B. This little blue dot down here is stereo B. So, and this is stereo A. That's the one we really probably pay attention to a whole lot more. All right, because, you know, that's the one we still get data from. We don't get we don't get to see stuff from over here, guys. They just don't let us see it anymore. It had some issues back in the day. Um, Scott was catching a bunch of stuff on that one. And then shortly thereafter, it went into some kind of maintenance role and never came out of it. And finally, they got the communications back to it, they said. and But we don't get to see any of the data now. They say it was damaged to the point it's not worth looking at. But anyway, um, Stereo A, this is the condition of Stereo A. And you can tell here at Earth, they're, they're saying that it's going to be an up and down here for the next week. And maybe even further. If you look at your spiral graphs over here, right about the 17th is when, right here, when that first initial uh, blast of whatever, could be solar wind, could be, you know, most likely solar wind. Because this is showing you the velocity of the particles. But what's behind it? That's probably that second little hump that we've seen right here. It could be, could not, could take it more days to get here. I do think we're going to get more active as far as geomagnetically because of all this action going on. Um, but, you know. Um, let's go down here. Now, I know I'm know i going to talk about this a little bit more too uh, here in just a second because I'm going to show you guys a crack. And, you know, we had a, I know it kind of shocks people sometimes to know that we get cracks in our magnetosphere. Our magnetic field but it's actually kind of it's normal all right but when we have bigger ones open up at the same time we get solar weather these auroras get intense and I'm going to show you guys a, a couple of aurora pictures here in just a few minutes but you can see how um, this the uptick in geomagnetic activity is what's causing this to be more active okay and there's a lot of other tools on here I'm going to show you here in just a second um, well, I'll just show you this one real quick, okay? This one here is the geoelectric field. It's the one that shows us um, space weather's effect on our, on our grid, our electrical grid, and unnatural uh, electrical components. And you can see, you know, you see the activity here. Anybody that's looked at this before, this is activity. You see that big jump there? It went up to like 19 mil millivolts, okay? Um, is that extremely high? No. But it's more active than normal. And that, that just lets us know that, hey, yes, we're in that solar wind stream. Um, if that thing's, if this starts getting real, real crazy, um, that's when we start seeing, you know, bigger issues. So we'll pop back over here. So what, what's actually happening, right? 
So we're gonna we're gonna take a look at the sun here first because I think that's the best thing to do. So you got again here's the sun, and something I noticed right before I started the stream up. Um, I want to get the whole thing in there. Let's uh back out back down just one more notch there. Okay, we'll we'll we'll, we'll view it like this. Okay, um, I'm trying to give you the bi biggest best picture I can show you. I'm going to give you an overall view right now because I want you to look at the whole sun. Here's this. that This one here flared. Okay, and I'll show you that in a minute. Here's the other sunspot that, that they were talking about. Um, they call it a proto-sunspot because it's not big enough to actually be classified as a full sunspot yet. Um, but the polarity is there. And there is some signatures on the surface that are indicating that that could at any time become a full-blown sunspot. But regardless, it's, it's an active area on the sun. But down here it is too. But when it, we have an ejection over here, okay? And then we have an ejection over here. Um, I think it even ejected up here. And, you know, here, 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 all at the same time. Watch. I'm going to grab the slide bar, and it's easier to see that way, okay? So if you just kind of keep in mind, like I just said, just kind of, you know, get a, like you're a camera, and get a view of just the whole sun, and kind of just let it, just look at it. Don't try to like focus on one point because you might miss the rest of it. Um, but you're going to see stuff all around here at the same time. Okay, did you guys see that? Watch here, 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 and here. In the next couple frames, they all boom. See that? Look at that. All those areas plus this up here. It's all acting at the same time. So, you know, I'm sitting here and I'm wondering, you know, what in the heck perturbed the sun like that? Uh, you know, I don't know if that's, you know, if that's to be expected as we're going into, you know, a more active area and more active time for the sun. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that, because that's, that's almost exact time, okay? If it, you know, if we've seen this one react and then this one react like, you know, an hour later or this one, you know, after that kind of stepping, whatever, I can see how the energy rolls across, right? But this all happens at once. Boom. I mean, I had to take a, I had to take a minute here and like, look at that. And I'm like, wow. And you can even see it doing it down here too. Okay. Now, so I'm going to zoom in here a little bit more and give you guys a, a closer look because um, I want to show you guys the actual flare that I've seen. And that way we can... You know, I can give you a better better idea of what we're looking at here. It's right here, okay? So, watch right up here. Run it back. Now, I'm going to go slow here. Okay? Now, it's not, it's not very big, okay? But you can see how it spreads out. You see that? But here, over here, it actually ejected. That's not, it has nothing to do with the sunspot. Or that active area, anyway. That's a whole different thing over here. See that? See how they're all going at the same time? And, you know, it, it just it just kind of, it's just odd to me. Um, is it, you know, when we see stuff like that, should we assume that, that something perturbed the whole sun? You know? I'm, I, I, you know, I've never actually seen it do something like that. Um, I'm not saying that it doesn't happen, and it could be very normal, guys. Um, but I personally never observed that at all. So I'm going to push play, and we're just going to kind of watch it here for a minute. And you see it ejecting down here. And, and you know, it stays a little active on, all the time, but when that one and up here, all that stuff happened at once, I was like, wow, man. Um, and none of them were like big time you know, ejections or eruptions or anything like that, but they still were active. It was still active. So, I, you know, I don't know what is uh, actually causing that, but um, I'll tell you what here. Well, uh, I'm going to stop this because um, if I let those things play, it, it, it like kills my bandwidth. <laughs> uh, goodness. So we'll take a look at it here on the 304, and you'll, you'll see down here, okay?
you see the filament start, you know, it start, starts dancing around the edges here. I guess I could zoom in for you guys too on this one. And you see that flare just happened right there. And here it goes here. So, you know, guys, I mean, I'm, I'm just showing it to you guys. That, that was the flare, but what really kind of struck me odd was the fact that it all, all those things happened all at once on different spots of the sun. The one that happened over here, oops, up in here, that was actually more towards the back side. So it wasn't like it was just this side of the sun. The ejection we're seeing over here is actually more so towards the back. And um, so, you know, what is causing that? What it, it, only thing I can draw a conclusion here is that something made the whole sun, like, get real active for a minute. Um, not like explosive active, but enough to say, hey. <laughs> enough to say, hey, look at me. <laughs> that kind of thing, you know. Um, so, yeah, let me back that off. Uh, okay, let's, uh, are you guys okay? I'm just checking on you in here. Uh, smart hill hey hillbilly how you doing bud um Lou, Lou, what's going on arizona raven i think i already said hi to you <laughs> uh roy rush what's up guys um we have anything going on in there everybody cool in there nobody's getting crazy just let me know if it, if, if they are just let me know um i'm not gonna get all bent out of shape or nothing but so yeah um it's putting on the show for us right now and i don't know what's going on but so let me show you this, okay, before I go any further. You guys see that? Here, I'm going to pull up the chat on this one because I want to know what you guys think about that. This right here is Aurora, and it was in Sweden. This is over at spaceweather.com, okay? Um, yeah, that right there was be, that was a result of us having a crack in our magne magnetic field, and we got hit with that solar weather. And um, what's the guy's name here? Oh, I'm going to give him credit. Uh, Chad Blakely. Um, I guess he was saying that he had never seen, let's see here, eyewitness Bjorn Vardling. Okay, Chad ba Blakely must have wrote the article or something. Um, yeah. So, but eyewitness uh, Bjorn uh, Vardling said that what took him aback, he'd been here for years, and he'd been doing this for like two years, and had never seen the clouds themselves turn green. So those clouds were there before the auroras showed up, and it made everything green. So, yeah, um, that's pretty intense. You know, when, when we get, you know, auroras that like that, um, it's either from a big, big solar hit, or it's from a, like, kind of what we just seen here. It wasn't such a big, humongous hit, but it was, and it, it just hit at the spot where um, we had a crack. And sometimes these uh, cracks form as we're getting hit because of us getting hit. Um, so, and we all know that our magnetic field is about 20% weaker than what it already was anyway. So that, you know, it's a new norm is what I'm trying to say. Um, we can expect to see more and more of this. That's all, I, you know, that's what I'll say about that. But here's the sun here. Um, I'm trying to look. It's, that doesn't show up very well. Not, you know. Yeah, we'll get off of that one. <laughs> Let's, uh, yeah. What the heck happened there, man? Okay. All right. Well, we will just do this then. How about that? <laughs> okay, so here, here's our, uh, I tell you what, I'm going to take you back over to Isla real quick. And because I want you guys to see what I was talking about with this, uh, this crack. Okay. This is current, current, uh, magnetosphere models. All right. Now th these are the older ones. They've been out there forever, probably 20 years now, close to it. Um, the sun's over here to the right. So watch this. Okay. When, when we see that, there's, there's nothing wrong with seeing that kind of stuff, guys. That stuff is normal. Okay. When we get hit with solar wind. But what I want to show you guys is, you see that little quick little bam? 
And it looks really jerky, doesn't it? And I checked the timestamps, and they don't seem to be going too far, you know, missing time. So I'm going to hit play. And let's just watch this thing. And that way we might get a better look at what we're actually seeing. And what struck me about that, here I'm going to pause it, is we took some, uh, it showed up as pressure back here and in the front at the exact same time. So I'm going to move this slide bar back here and we're going to watch that again. You see how it came? You know, it all happened at once right there. Now, I watched this thing a minute ago, and it looked like it was reacting from the inside out first, without being hit in the front. Pause that right there. Now, do you see this, this energy right here? You can kind of see where, you know, we might be seeing some sort of a crack going on. Now, I'm not saying that that's exactly where that position was, because um, I don't know. But... It does look as though that this, and this stuff does kind of spiral in, guys, because it does try to come in through our poles. Um, that's just a given. I mean, that's something that I've talked about multiple times. But usually when we get hit like this, okay, we get, see that right there? We got hit with solar wind, we compress, and then we're pushing back, right? So what happens? Rapid expansion. See that? But what's strange is we didn't expand out very far. And a lot of the energy went ahead and went out the back. Watch. For that to, to do something like that in a very short amount of time, it does look like it might have... Let's check the... Yeah, it did jump about a half hour right there. I didn't catch that a minute ago. So from about... Yeah. Yeah. From about 6.09, and then we, you know, here's the timestamp. From 6.09, the next capture we get 6.38. So we did, we missed about a half hour there. So it probably wasn't as, you know, immediate as what it looks like here. Because um, there was a half hour of time we didn't get to see. And probably what happened is the satellite went into safe mode because it's getting hit with this stuff. And it happens a lot. Um, or the, you know, the, al <laughs> the alternate idea is, you know, what I'm talking about, guys. Um, they could be messing with it. But uh, let's go ahead and refresh this and see what we get. Um, see if we get any new uh, captures here. Yeah, we did. Now, you guys seeing how intense this is right here? That's pretty intense, I have to say. It really is. Um, so we're going to, especially when you see that. We're taking it right on the chin right here, guys. Okay. And that's happening right now. I just refreshed that. That's at 958 UTC. Um, yeah, it's pretty close to like almost real time there. Um, it's not real time, but it's pretty close. But do you, what, what, when we start getting a little concerned is when the, uh, this uh, energy starts getting inside the satellite line. Okay, and it is. Some of this is. I've seen this red all the way up in here before. And, you know... And let me, let me say something here too, guys. We're all still here, even when I've seen that. It doesn't mean it's, it, you know, it's the most catastrophic thing we've ever seen. It just means that we're getting hit with something. And it could cause us some issues. That's what I would say to that, you know. Um, but let's go forward. So I'm going to... Yeah, that's, a, that's actually a pretty decent little hit we just took there. Um, just to be honest with you, um, you can you can always tell because when we get hit like this and we're showing all this, you can always see almost like a ripple effect inside here. So let me let me show you something I found extremely odd, and I'm going to zoom in here on this one because this is something I really want you guys to see. Um, this is something that I've noticed before. I just we just don't see it very often like this. So what we're going to be looking at is up in here. I'm going to zoom out just one more time here. Okay. That's where we'll keep the, the view at. But what we're seeing here, it, this is the solar wind model. Okay. This actually will give you the solar wind speed, the direction, all that kind of stuff. Right. Um, we always have our bow shock out here. Bow shock. However you want to put it. Um, but what I'm noticing here, you see this like intense yellow line and we got blue in here 
Um, typically, all the colors that are in here are pretty consistent. You don't usually see three or four different colors right around the earth right here. But we are right now. So as I, as I go forward here, and up here, guys, is the actual wind speed. That's kilometers per second. Um, so as I'm moving, I'll move forward here like this. Okay, and this is the same time time frame I just showed you on that other uh, other graph. Okay, so that right there was it actually jumped some time there. Okay, let me show you. Okay, you see how it jumped like really quick. Look at the timestamp here. That's 2147. We'll back it up one frame. And it was 2128. So it jumped about 20 minutes. Okay. So we went from this signature to this signature in about 20 minutes. But watch what happens. Remember, keep an eye in here. See what's going on here again? And so, you know, this signature here, and I know people, you know, they, they wonder what that is because it looks spherical. A lot of times what you're seeing there is, is this is a two-dimensional model, like I've said. And it's trying to represent a three-dimensional thing. So as that energy is coming around our magnetic field, it still holds that shape a little bit. And it makes it look like when it comes out the backside that it's a really big sphere sometimes, like hanging out right here. That's not the case, okay? Um... Number one, that if, if an object that big was like right here, we wouldn't be having this conversation. That thing would be huge. Um, that's just what I would that's what I would say to that. Um, you know, even it even you know, like right here. And you see these little red spots here. Now watch as I go forward here. It'll uh, this actually gives us a really good idea. You see how it opened up here in the front. And this is what I'm talking about. I can't, I can't really say, hey, yes, there's, there's the, there's the crack in the magnetic field. I'm not gonna be able to say that, obviously. Um, but you see how it opened up. At least the, the, the pressure difference was, was different enough that it, it had to show us a different color there. Okay. Then I seen this. This is, uh, this is something that I, I don't know that I've actually seen a whole lot of. Um, you see how we're getting this green creeping in there? Plus, it's like it's cutting in and out. Like um, it's varying in different spots here. Usually it's pretty consistent around the earth here on this model. Let's see if I can't just, uh, yeah. I hope you guys, just look up here guys, right there, okay? I want to leave it big so we can see it the best. Okay, now that's even better right there. Look at that. And it hangs out right there, that same signature, for quite a, quite a few minutes there. Okay, it even gets more intense, but look, nothing's changing here. Why? Well, because it's probably the, the density of the particles is staying the same. So that means that something is, is uh, you know, pretty consistently right there. And then you've seen that. Okay, and again, what you're seeing right there was the time jump again. Um, you always have to look when you're looking at this tool on that, because if you don't, you'll get fooled by it, thinking that, oh my gosh, look at it change, like, immediately. That's not usually the case, okay? Let me back it up. So we go from there. That's at 6.09. And that's 6.38, okay? That's the same time stamp we were missing down here. And that makes sense, because it came from the same satellite. Right? So they're both going to be missing the same time frame. Now, I actually haven't even looked at the spaghetti string model yet. Um, these are, you know, the, the blue lines are magnetic field lines. They're our connection to the sun and other objects, celestial objects. Um, in a perfect world, you see this vertical one? They would be periodic all the way down through, the, through this graph. Straight up and down. But that ain't what we see. So... You know, I've never seen it look like that. So, <laughs> um, so we'll take this. And that, that's just a whole bunch of garbage. I mean, 
uh, I don't know what else to say that. It's just the magnetics are getting messed with, guys, from the solar wind here. It's pushing it on out back. Um, and, you know, we would see stuff like this during a, a typical solar storm, right? We would expect to see some of this stuff, okay? Um, just because we're seeing it doesn't mean it ain't normal. And that's that's kind of been the big thing I've had to, you know, kind of grab, grab a hold of myself because I would see crazy-looking signatures and think, oh, my gosh, that's nuts. And then when I would go back and look in, you know, in the past on the archives, I've seen it a lot. The same thing, I was just like, oh my gosh, that's kind of crazy. Well, sometimes that crazy is normal. So, <laughs> that's what I would say there. Um, let's see here. We're going to, uh, let's go ahead and, I'll tell you what I'm going to do here. I really want you guys to see, did I, yeah, okay, that's not it. Did I put it in here? Oh, man. Uh, I thought I, I thought I uploaded that and I didn't. Oh man, that stinks. Oh well, um, maybe I'll show it to you again tomorrow. But it uh, it, it was just showing you that crack a little bit better. So, <coughs> so yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding, Paul. Uh, you know, yeah, for sure. Crazy's been <laughs> normal the past couple of years, for sure, no doubt. Yeah, I mean, closed field lines, quit. Yeah, you, it's really easy to figure that out, guys. Um, yeah, hey, hey Jan, how you doing? I'm glad you guys are here. Who did? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's all right. Are they fighting in there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. My my daughter um, is one of my mods, guys. Yeah. Her name is spelled a little crazy. Not, I'm not going to tell you her real name. But oh, did you already drop it? No. Okay. Anyway. Hey, how you doing? You want to be? Have I? Well, that's okay. I'm not going to keep saying it though. Um, I do want to show you guys uh, a couple of different things here on the. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, let's do this. Let's go over here to the, the do page thing again. And again, guys, until I get more comfortable with this. You're not going to see me claim anything on this thing, okay? I want you guys to know that because, you know, I'm looking at this thing and I'm, I'm seeing things that maybe I'm just looking at it too close. Maybe I'm looking at it close and uh, people aren't really looking as close as I am right now because I'm trying to learn the tool. Um, but I am seeing certain things that it's kind of crazy, kind of crazy looking. Um, so let me, uh, I'm going to take it over to this view here. And this is... Is this the one that I want to show you? I think it is. No, I'm going to go to the global one. Let's go here. Okay, so I'm going to run this back. And I'm going to move slow. Now, guys, I think I've come to the conclusion this is normal. This glitch right here. This is something that happens when the sun goes down right over there. And I think a little bit of extra light kind of peeks over. Okay. Still the 13th. Okay, now did you guys see that? Look. So, <laughs> you know, maybe, like, again, guys, maybe that is something that is just a normal glitch for this thing. But that's at, that's at midnight UTC. Okay? The sun is not nowhere close to the horizon on either side right there. So, whatever happened there is either a tool issue or it could be, I guess, the solar wind we're receiving. I don't know. Uh, maybe that's what this is picking up, some of those hits. Um, well, maybe the sun was peeking up there. 
Maybe it was. You guys see that? Like right here? See that? How it's sweeping through? Huh. That says, uh, well, maybe, may, yeah, that is probably right. The sun was there. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I was reading the time wrong. And, um, again, I seen a, a crazy looking little signature and I'll, I'll take you guys over and show it to you here in just a second, but I want you guys to see this because, you know, we're getting, the uh, the, we'll go back to the continental view here. Um, again, guys, these hurricanes, look at these things, guys. I mean, they're just, wow. And I know this is an active time, you know, historically anyway, for hurricanes, so... Um, I'm not sweating that part yet. It is very active, and I think they were expecting an active season anyway. They actually came back, I think, and re redid their predictions about three weeks in because they figured out that, you know, with more data and stuff, they thought it was going to become more active again. And they were right on that end. And guess what? The birds predicted it too. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, take that for whatever it's worth. Um, but yeah, I always like watching these hurricanes. I mean, yes, I, I hate the fact that these people down here are going to have to deal with this. You know? But the, the fact of the matter is, a hurricane is pretty amazing. If you actually like look into what they do and how they form and all that kind of thing. I was a weather nut when I was a kid. Um, I was deathly afraid of thunderstorms till I was probably 25. Um, now I love them. It's, it's kind of strange. But yeah, that's just me. But, um, you see how this outflow is happening here? See all those little, you know, that's because the wind's just blowing, man. Look at that. It's sheer. It's like it's, uh, you know, it, they go through recycling stages, too. The eye wall will recycle, and, um, it'll get weak. It'll look like a weaker signature, but when it comes back to having an eye wall like this thing over here, it's more intense than it was when it started doing it. So, what did I see? Yep, see, look at there, guys. I mean, what am I, what am I supposed to do with this? Let me show you something. Okay, first off, look here. All right, you guys see that? You know... And I ain't saying this is the same thing that Dutch seen the other day with the wildfires and everything. And again, this could be a very much a, a camera issue. But watch this. I'm going to back it up even more. Look at this. So what's going on with that? You know? I, I, I really don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah. If anybody else knows what that is, I mean, I would really love to know what, I mean, if, is it a, is it actually a computer glitch thing going on there or is it something that, you know, and what we're looking at here, we're looking at the air mass, uh, filter that they use. Um, I'm not really, again, guys, I'm not really sure what that actually means. So I'm just telling you, that's what it says it is. Colorized air mass imagery. Um, so that's what we're looking at. Yeah, I'm, and, and again, I've been researching this, so I do know that some of the terms now, um, but I'm not really familiar with what that, that's actually trying to show us. So could this be very normal, or is it something nuts? I, you know, and I'm seeing these all over the place, and that's what's making me think it ain't, it's, it's like a normal thing, like a normal glitch. If it's not, and I'm seeing them as much as I am, man, we got a big question to ask somebody. I mean, my gosh. Okay, you got that coming right now. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go to the... Let's go to the regional view. And where was that? Was it over? Yeah, this should, this should show it. Okay. Now you see it? It's Arkansas down here. In, where's that hitting? That's like North Carolina. Um, but what makes me think that this is most likely some sort of a, a tool issue is they do look to be the same size. Okay? Um, as far as length. 
And just about every one of them that I've seen have been that size. Let's go back here. Let's, let's, let's scoot it over here and see what we see. Yeah, it gives us a better picture here. Okay. Now, you see how I'm, what I'm talking about here? For the length of these things are almost the same. But this one here is standing more straight up, and this one's more angled. It's hitting the same latitude line. I know that. Um, so if it is what people think these things might be, as far as weather manipulation, you know, being converted into something that can harm somebody, I'm not going to say all the words. You know, You guys know why I don't. Um, but, you know, that is what it is. I'm just showing, again, guys, I'm showing you the observation, and, you know, I, I hope everybody is able to do some research on their own, too, and make up their own mind here. Um, I don't want to force my opinions on anybody. I'm just going to show you the observation, especially when I don't know exactly what I'm looking at, because I don't, not on this graph. And, it, and with that being said, this will probably be one of the last times I show it to you until I am more comfortable showing you guys this thing okay because um, i don't want to give you guys false information or something that's not correct um, let's go back here even though it's it's really interesting okay i'll give you guys that um for sure you know so um guys you know what i think um i am going to go ahead and hit this off here guys thanks for coming and hanging out with me um I just wanted to show you guys, give you guys a couple little updates. I guess we'll, we'll take a look at the earthquakes real quick. Um, this one here did pop off just a few minutes ago. Um, it's a five. It's not that big of a deal. Um, it's not in an odd spot, but check this out. I noticed that one. That was in Maryville, Tennessee yesterday, about 8 o'clock in the morning, UTC. And that's kind of strange. Again, guys, we had the one in, in, over here in the United Kingdom. We're seeing stuff in weird places up here in Russia. I'm not saying these things don't all don't ever happen. I'm just saying that, that they're very rare in these these spots. Okay, that's all that I'm saying right there. Um, so let's uh you guys got any questions for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for bringing that up. Knowledge 2020. Um, New Jersey, yeah. that I can't believe I forgot to mention that one. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they felt that in New York and stuff, guys. I mean, they got, they got uh, you know, a lot of shaking going on for sure. So, um, those of you guys out there that are on the West Coast, you know, and people that are getting ready to um, deal with these hurricanes again, you know, my prayers are with you guys. I mean, I... It makes me sick sometimes to watch some of these things because um, hopefully, you know, the people I'm talking to here I know are smart enough to get out of harm's way. But, you know, some of those guys down there that aren't, they have kids. And that, that just, it just turns my stomach because, man, those kids don't have any, any, any say on where they're going to be. Hey, Robert, what's up, man? Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just, wow. When they, and then, the, you know, like the, the, the wildfires out there. So <laughs> that right there, I think those are hard to predict anyway. Um, there have been some questionable things going on with that. And again, I'm not going to go into all that. Plus, plus we had, you know, uh, in Idaho, um, had some earthquakes and stuff going on there, which close to there, that would be, you know, Yellowstone. Really? Where the beam started yesterday? Wow. Huh. So, yeah. Says I lived, I lived near the London earthquake the other day, didn't feel anything, but it was on Roth. Oh, really? Wow. Kaleidoscope, that's pretty, you know, that's, that's good information. Um, Stephanie Keir, how you doing? Armor of God, pass me the A. There you go. Blowing tunnels in UK. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, um, 
How many gallons of water do you give those fried plants? <laughs> I know when it gets hot, plants drink exponentially more when it hasn't rained for a long time. And there's a, yes, you're you're right, ducks. Um, but those plants, guys, those those the ones I showed you guys there, that didn't happen overnight. Okay. Um, first off, those 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 pines I showed you. Typically, once you get those in the ground. Mother Nature takes care of them. You don't have to water them. That's why they're. That's why they use them in businesses and commercial buildings and stuff, because there's very low maintenance on those things, other than just trimming them up. So you know, the fact of like you know trying to water things and keep things going, yes, that that uh, that most definitely does help. Okay, but like I said, guys, please keep in mind that your plants do have a memory. And if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna water them at say five five in the morning and five at night, you're gonna have to do that every day. If you don't, they're gonna you're gonna notice it. It's actually worse to to say say one day you watered at five in the morning and that's all you did, and you did that for a week, and then you started watering twice a day. Then you're, you think you're you're helping them. Well, you are at that point, but then when you you know after that you can't go back to one once once a day, not right away. You have to like wean them back to it. It's crazy, um, because they do they notice it. The the plants notice it. So, in reefs, how you doing? I know I popped on here kind of early today, guys. Um, but I I, I really did just uh. Um, I wanted to get this one in um, get it out to you guys before I have to go do some things this morning. Um, so, but yeah, guys, uh, stay safe. Um, and I will be going back to some of my edited videos, just so you guys know. Um, I may still pop on once in a while, you know, at least a couple times a week with the um, live stream. Because I do like, I like having this uh, interaction. So, so uh, yeah, guys, God bless. Yuhusa saves and uh, you can drink this Kool-Aid.